Yeah, it took me a while to remember where I stashed this thing. The old hobo stove. Just strap it on the back of the bike and I'm ready to go. Got the fishing pole, got some tackle, got everything I need. Camera tripod, bug out kit. Now 45 minutes to get to my uh, bug out location, or as I like to call it, the fishing hole. But that's not bad on a bike, considering I was fighting the wind the whole way. And it would take me a good 20 minutes to get here in the car. Plus, then I would have to walk another 15 minutes to get to this spot. So, not bad at all. I mean, I lost maybe 15 minutes but I didn't use any gas and uh, I'm right here at the spot and I got all my gear with me. Pretty nice. I figure I'd go ahead and heat me up some of these uh, horrible macaroni and beef noodles in a can while I'm at it. Just pop the lid off and uh, sit the lid back on there so a bunch of soot and sticks don't doesn't get down in it. Good to go in a couple minutes. Well, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to come out and do a little fishing today and test out my bike, make some uh, macaroni and beef, test out my stainless water bottle for boiling water and such, make some chaga tea. Now once this is done, which it is right now, I can just take this tea bag and tie it up in a tree where the sun's on it and it'll dry out pretty quick. See, just let that chaga tea bag dangle from this branch in the sun. That'll be dried out in no time on this hot sunny day. Bunch of juniper berries. That way you can reuse that because there's still plenty of tea left in that bag. Just got to dry it out so it doesn't mold. I can stick it right back in that cap of the water bottle and uh, away I'll go. And if you don't know what I'm talking about with the water bottle, you can just uh, watch my video on the uh, 40 ounce stainless steel water bottle. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, thanks for all the comments, and thanks for all the support. Ooh, still too hot. Put my chocolate tea in the water to cool it off. And since I had to wait for the tea to cool off, I figured I might as well go ahead and uh, make a can of chicken noodle soup.
which appears to be done. I went ahead and brought some uh, some of the kale stems from the kale I canned yesterday. Um, those stems got a lot of tough fibers in them, but there's got to be a lot of good nutrition in there, so I can't see letting them go to waste. Put them in my soup and uh, get some nourishment out of that way. Chew on them a little bit and get what I can out of them. Now this pot obviously is too small to sit on top of this, and if it did, it would smother it out. So all I did is I found an old beer can laying in the woods here, sat that down in there for something for my pot to rest on. That way I still got air space around and uh, don't have to carry anything special with me. Chaga tea ought to be cool enough to drink. Hopefully, it doesn't feel like it. Oh yeah, it's cooled right off. My chicken noodle soup should be good and hot. Now I'm gonna eat. So, uh, once again, thanks for watching, and thanks for all the comments and support. Uh, talk to you guys later. Mmm, kale. I mean, those stems taste great. I can't see throwing them away. It just makes no sense. Chew it up, spit out fibers. Or swallow the fibers, they're probably good for you. <laughs>